Khalid Golden Scream presenting The Last Survivor. Complete 10 years have passed. Not even a drop of rain has fallen on the earth. The whole earth is now barren and all the people who are left on the earth, they need water to live, which has completely indeed on the earth. Someone spends most of his time in search of water. Everyone is also worried of scavengers who make people hostile. In such a farm, a girl whose name is Kendall is shown here. She hides with a friend. She extracts water from the ground through a pump. But Kendall wants to take her friend whose name is Dean from here as soon as possible because his kidney has failed and if she wants to get him treated, then she will have to go to some nearby camp. But it is not so easy to get out from here because there are always scavengers roaming around. They also have a radio on which a candle keeps listening to the news around in which people keep pleading for help. Many people did not drink water for many days and no one has any source of water. Now a day when both of them are in the farm, they hear some sound from their farm. Both of them have get seated in the attic. In fact, two men had come here, but they do not check the attic and leave from here. After the leave, when the candle comes down, she sees that a lady is sitting there. She points gun on her, but the lady says that she only wants water. She also says her feet are injured. After hearing that, the candle gives water to her. Kendall suspects that maybe there are other people with her who have reached here but she is completely alone. Her name is Sky. Kendall tells Sky that you can stay here if you want. But Sky says that but Sky says that I have to go to my sister is at distance from here to whom I want to reach. If you want, you can also come with me but the candle refuses. She says that I have a plan and I want to execute that plan. Actually, there is a plan in nearby farm, one part of which is bad. If they fix this part in some way, then they can leave from here. And the candle has a plan that she will leave here and go to a place where there is greenery. That's why she stays here with her friend. After which the candle gives some water to the sky and she leaves from here. At night, while Kendall is sitting on attic with her friend, she hears on the radio that some people have entered a lady's house and she needs help. Kendall decides that she will go to help her because she has a gun and that house is also around her. But when the candle reaches around that house, she understands that a trap has been laid here. Actually, there lives a man named Carson who have a water compound and Carson wants to kill all the people and capture their farm because he believes that people will dry this whole earth by taking water from the ground. And this water compound where is a lot of water, that place will also dry up completely. That's why he's killing people and he kills his whole family. Kendall is lucky that she can see Carson and when she is coming back towards her farm, only then she sees a spoiled car on the way. She takes out that part of the car which is needed for the plane. She thinks that maybe the plane will start from this part. But when she puts that part on the plane, it doesn't fit making her completely frustrated. Also, she sees that the water which she used to come well earlier has also reduced. At night, Kendall says to her friend that I feel Carson is drilling the soil in which the water is stagnant and pulling it towards him so that the water is drying up completely and I don't think that I will be able to survive without water. My kidney is damaged, that's why there is no need to fix the aeroplane to get out of here. Some distance away from here is my uncle's farm. You will take three or four weeks to reach there. You can be completely safe when you arrive. But Kendall tells her friend that I will not leave you here. In fact, both of them are orphans. In last, the elder sister here also whose body has buried outside this farm. Next morning, Kendall goes to seek help from a boy living nearby named Gabriel who likes Kendall when on the way she sees dead body of Sky who wanted to go to her sister's house. In fact, she is not dead. And then her comes a lady named Grace who lives around them. 
she says that once spells are dry and now the only way we have is to join Casa to work for him as he wants. She tells Kendall that he has medicine also so that your friend Dean can be fine completely. But she doesn't want to join Casa and the Casa starts coming here but before he reaches this place, the Kendall hides. Casa comes to the place and kills Gabriel's whole family. Everyone is too old and I don't have enough water to give old people. I have limited water. Gabriel is completely broken by the death of his family. He asks Gabriel if there is anyone else waiting around here but Gabriel refuses. After which Kendall runs through the backside farm and then a man comes in front of her but she kills him with her gun. She goes to the farm where the plan is. Actually a child lives at this place. Who is alone and Kendall has promised this child that whenever she leaves from here by plane, she will also take her child with her. Although she has asked this child to stay with them many times, but he wants to be left alone here. Now when Kendall arrives at her farm, she tells her friend Dean that Carson is slowly killing everyone. He is not taking anyone to his place. In fact, he wants at least people to be left here so that at least the water will be used. After this, it is shown that the Dean is outside the place where he buried his sister and missing her today. He tells his friend Kendall that whenever I am dead, don't bury one because he knows that if he is buried, the Kendall money will stay here in his remembrance forever. Kendall becomes very emotional after hearing all these things and she tells her friend Dean that before we leave, here now they both sleep in their attic at night and next morning when she comes down she sees Carson's man is standing outside. She hides inside the same house. Actually there is a pub outside their house. So Carson always suspects that someone lives in this place. He tells whoever is inside come out as soon as possible but she knows Carson will kill her if she goes out so she goes back to the attic where Dean is already and and now Carson's men come inside. Carson has a device with which he can trace human, but he is unable to trace them because both of them cover themselves completely with foil paper, which does not allow human hits to come out. That's why Carson is not able to track both of them with his device, but he leaves poisonous gas inside so that if anyone in inside it will come up automatically but both of them wear masks so that the poisonous gas has no effect on them. Carson and his men are convinced that there is no one here. That's why he leaves by putting his mark at his place. That is this place is now Carson's but when Carson started leaving she sees a silver paper on the window which makes her suspicious but for now all of them get out of here. Here Kendall's troubles have now increased a lot because her well, her pump has completely dried up. Now she can't draw water but she does not tell this to her friend Dean and she goes to the place where Carson lives. But there is a lot of money. There is also a car and she hopes that inside this car she can find that part so that the plan can be traveled. But even if she wants, she cannot go to that place because there is always security. When she is going back, a man sees her but she kills him with her gun and leaves from her. Kendall is very upset because now she has to find some way in her. And next morning, she sees three people are coming towards their farm. She tells her friend Dean, she says, she says three survivors are coming this way. Dean says that we have water, we should help them. Kendall goes out and points gun on them, but they said we are coming a long way and we don't have water. Kendall gives them water to drink. He offers to Kendall that you also come with us, but Kendall flatly refuses and on the same night Dean comes to know that his pump, his will has completely dried up. He has no water left. Kendall says that we have only enough water left that we can survive for a week. That's why Kendall is not drinking water since 10 days and she is giving water to her friend Dean. Because if Dean is not giving water, then he will die. Dean feels very bad to hear this. 
because he wants scandal to scrap by any means now she tells dean about the car that's around carson's compound where there's always security dean shows her the way to reach the car and the next morning where the car is she throws a burning light at the slingshot to the side where the compound is the place catches the fire and everyone reaches that place and at this very moment the candle reaches the wicket and takes out that part which she wants to fit in the plant and this time she has got the right part she is very happy to see that she comes to Dean and tells him that I got the part and we will leave as soon as possible but when she comes down to get water but when she comes down to get water the same three survivors whom she had given water reach here and knock him unconscious by hitting a bottle on his head after which her hands and feet are tied actually they have come here to steal their water and now the lady who is with them is going to kill the candle but with great difficulty Dean comes down and kills all three with a gun he has and then he is going near the candle to open her head but now castle people have heard the sound of gunfire that's why they are coming this way he has the candle in the car and says no matter what happens even if my life is lost you don't get out of this car and now carson has reached here with his man in fact carson's daughter always suspected that someone lives in this farm in this house and now there is dean in front of them who is sick they are surprised to see that dean who is sick can walk well on his feet how he killed three people that's why they start searching house but the dean shoots at his man and kills many people after which they kill dean too and dean's wife makes scandal and stand that he has been killed which makes her very sad but she does not come out of the car carson sleeps from here with his daughter but still two of his men were searching here and after this candle candle who is a very good sportsman kills these two men and among them there was a masked person and when candle removed his mask it was cameron the same never he used to be like a candle feels very sad due to his death but now she cannot do anything in fact she lost both of her friends to as dean said do not bury his body after death but do fear not she burns his body and reaches the farm where there is a plant where that child is she fits that part in the plant the part fits perfectly in the plant but there is no child now and then she sees carson see lots of the house and she understands that carson took that child and she doesn't want to That's why from inside the water, she goes across the fields that is inside the compound where that child is sitting. They are very nervous. Carson's people attack her but with the gun she has, she kills all the people of Carson one by one and now Carson comes in front of her. But she is a very good sportswoman. That's why she kills Carson too. And now only the last enemy left in front of her, Carson stops her. but the candle wins this 